Welcome back. Luxury for less. Jerry Willis is breaking down how to buy a Rolex watch on a budget. All right. So we didn't want to pay the $8,000 for the submariner, right? No way. <laughs> so we took a look at how do we buy it on the cheap. Take a look. Ah, the statement watch. Cardi B isn't the only one dripping in finesse and timeless luxury. You see them everywhere, mostly on the arms of celebrities. But with price tags of $3,000 to millions of dollars, how can you buy one without breaking the bank? What we encourage people to do is to go online, go to Google, sh you know, shop around. And you can often buy and save 15 to 25 percent by buying pre-owned versus what do you mean? So new. a used Rolex? Yes, a used, or what we call pre-owned Rolex. So you go online. Uh, there's a lot of reputable dealers. We always encourage people to buy from a reputable dealer. Paul Alteri owns the online retail store Bob's Watches, one of the world's biggest online secondhand watch vendors with $32 million in sales last year. Its primary offering, the Rolex, the most recognizable among luxury watch brands and popular. When actor Paul Newman's sporty Rolex watch went up for auction at Phillips in New York, it is history now. It sold for a record 17.8 million. The iconic Rolex takes a full year to make, according to the Swiss maker, and the enclosure clasp on each watch is closed a thousand times before the watch is sold. Some experts say that no Rolex design is approved unless it's visible from 20 feet away. The trick for the buyer, getting the real thing. We always say buy from a reputable dealer, number one. Number two is when you're looking at the watch, if the deal seems too good to be true, they're probably not a real watch. So if you see a watch and it's $50 or $100, it's probably not a genuine Rolex. Check out these Rolexes. Beautiful, right? Well, they're going to be auctioned off starting September 5th on Bob's Watches. And if you want to know if a Rolex is real or not, check out the serial number. First of all, there should be one on the case. And secondly, it has to be quality etched. Cool. So this was a lot of fun, but I have to tell you, another sign that you've got a real Rolex as opposed to a fake, that second hand sweeps instead of ticking along. So you've mm. got to watch for all the particulars, but you've got to buy from, you know, somebody you can trust at the mm. end of the day, a real dealer. Good stuff. Jerry, thank you. You're most welcome. All right.